Well, soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engine. Maybe we can fix the down. engine here. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon. But there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. Cigars? <laughs> no way, what the heck? <laughs> this is the Hellboy route. <laughs> but then, there was you. Was well, it gonna turn? Is this where Hell of a Boss starts playing? Imps are fast <laughs> but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them, and don't forget, <sighs> you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back, and this time, I'm not alone. <laughs> the doom internal route I can't even that was actually probably the best ending I could have got right there I like that one <laughs> that's actually like the awesome ending right there. <laughs> when the invitation came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw. Cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned, a familiar, comforting voice. Yeah, are. This is awesome. What? Mind. With us, you requested your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies. Those who stood against the absolute at your side. A reprieve from the blood war. A few hours of respite with the stars above and... This is way more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Colmac's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours. But it might burst with joy to see those friends again. And their hell gear and everything, <laughs> that's awesome. Yo... Of course. <laughs> Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel this of is fate too good. spinning this is too good. when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far I feel like I'm gonna explode emotionally, but it's just after the it's not happening. <laughs> Tonight, fate renews thy bond once more thou shouldst take care to preserve it it is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good go know one another once more and if this ends up taking a long time this will be a bonus video at the end after everything but anyways Honestly, that ending just made me... I wasn't expecting to, like... I didn't know how invested I was going to feel like I was at, in the end. Because sometimes we'll get an ending and it'll be like, ah. Like, I was really disappointed with the Ratchet and Clank ending for Rift Apart. Because there was no teaser for the next game or anything. There was just, like, a bunch of cardboard cutouts. Paper mache got seen about them going back and doing some other stuff. But... I absolutely love the way this ended. I'm happy with the choices that lined up. And we ended up going into hell and just turning into, like... Warriors in the end. That is just crazy seeing those two do that. All right, let's start talking to everyone. Let's talk to him. He's wearing presidential gear. holds. It took a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen Psy crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure it. You can touch, taste, and talk, but your fleshy body is in limbo, the home of the mystical Githzerai. Once the Githzerai were one with the Githyanki. Until bloody civil war what, what, what severed going the Gith on? species. The Gith Sarai god king Menyar Ag Gith sent word through the cosmos. He knows of your rebellion. 
and he's agreed to parlay. Should the Githzerai join you, you could vanquish Flaketh in a red dragon's blink. What's the word on the rebellion? I presume you've cracked open more Kithraki heads than you could possibly count. Wait, so we're starting a rebellion in hell against Blacketh because she has something there or something? I don't know. 13 Kithraki, 25 Smurfs, and 305 warriors precisely. I've turned my mind to political concerns. We seek the powerful ally, the Githzara. It continues pace through it will make time to topple a powerful queen like that black black I'll just go with the first one we killed a bunch of people <laughs> then you did keep count I should have known you would I like this outfit I'm right here since this we is last cool. met my corpse count remains a paltry zero unless you count the boars I felled on ducal hunts rebuilding a city requires a politic mind a sharp soldering blade not so much bargains must be made Coin must change hands, tongues must be held in check. Still, I make the decisions I see fit. The ones I think will restore the city to glory. I serve only Baldur's Gate, not a devil of the first hell. <laughs> the city's changed a lot under your leadership. I don't suppose you ever miss Mizora. Never. The Hex is an Eldritch Blast. Losing them took getting used to. They left behind a cold abyss where fire once raged. So I stoked a new one. Now the burning comes from within me, not from the depths of Avernus. Okay. Series so changed a lot under your leadership. I've had more than a few challenges, given the horns sprouting from my head. The people know me as one of the champions who saved their beloved city. They know Raven Guard blood flows through my veins. The Patriarchs, the Aristocracy, the Councils of Waterdeep and Arm, their arms aren't so wide open. Still, there's no friction that can't be greased with a sly promise or a proposition. Well, it turns out everything, it sounds like everything went well for this guy. What happened to Baldur's Gate Con Council of Four? When we arrived at the city, refugees were swarming the bridge. I understand things have changed. And the Flaming Fist, Gortash turned them into his personal attack dogs. Uh, let's just say about the refugees. The jewel of the coast will shine ever bright, welcoming the weak and the weary from wherever they hail. We are building new housing, not just shanties, but homes where families can rest their heads, plant gardens, pursue happiness. Amazing what can be done when Parliament and the Council pressure the upper city elites to open their coffers. <laughs> I'm sure the Silver Shields can make do without a few more jeweled crowns. It scared me because my mic was turned down a little bit, so it's... That wasn't down too much, but it was turned down a little bit. So, my mic was a little bit quiet there for a while. I don't know how quiet it was. Um, what happened to Baldur's Gate Council of Four? Disbanded, to be formed anew. I don't expect a soldier or street sweeper to see through the schemes of a tyrant like Gortash. But the city's lords and ladies were all too eager to abandon their oaths and bend the knee. Liara Porter is now Grand Duke of the Wilds, Sickle of Chult. Cordula Eltan is the Duke of the Sea Tower, a legacy reborn. And I am Will Ravenguard, Grand Duke of the Worm, Heart of the Gate. We will yet be four. Until such time and after, we will enact the will of the People's Parliament. Baldur's Gate is nothing without its citizens, both in the upper and lower. Our duty is to them, and only them. Okay. Um, Flaming Fist, Gortash turned them into his tack dogs. I've entrusted the fist to Cordula Eltan. Who better than a descendant of its founder to guide them? Given the atrocities the fist committed under Gortash, I expected her to thrash every last one. But she didn't do so much as scold them. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, Eltan's pardoned every last fist. Gortash led the parched fist to Bane's bloody well. I refused to punish no, the that's, thirsty for that drinking. That seems fair, I guess. Our words, not mine. Like my father, she believes in the bow and the blade, but she's teaching the fist a new lesson. 
Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Okay, what other subject is there to change from? Oh, leave, Go goodbye. On. The night's young, all waste a single drop of wine for that matter. Oh. Do we even want to talk to that guy? Indeed. Let's talk to him. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well I feel like well this guy's going to annoy me. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased This is really just story time, I'm just here, listening. Despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Have you come seeking a statement for your next tell-all? It's wonderful to see you, Velo. How have you been? You again, getting yourself into more trouble, I presume. <laughs> um, I'll say the first option. Oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? No. You know, the hero and I? No? I love it, presuming I'm the hero. Mm, you can do better, can't you? I'll do that one. He can do better than that. Oh, terribly sorry, but you mistake me, my friend. I'm only accepting complimentary feedback at this time. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, <laughs> you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft, and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay, your success buddy. really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. All right, let's go see what Shadow Heart's up to. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Are you joking? I've been counting down the dates. I had revel, rev, rever, res, res, I, I had, I had, I had, I had reservations. Actually, I thought I might be too bittersweet. Of course, I did. You lot could hardly manage without me. Um, Shadow Heart is. <laughs> Wait, let's see what happens if I say that. Hilarious. <laughs> you could find work as a jester if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. <laughs> I had to. I had to do that. Often. Come here, will you? It's been forever. This better just be a hug. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. You can say that. I've slept under the stars enough for a lifetime. Um, you know I miss that. Actually, are you calling me chubby? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. You do look good too. I suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well, Trudy. <laughs> See, I wish. Uh, I wish. Uh, Ratchet and Clank had this where you could talk to everyone. I know I talk about that game a lot, but I really like how they let us... It, it puts this, like, a year or something, year anniversary, he'd come back and see what everyone does. I love it when this happens in games. There's some, there's certain games I wish they would have really done this. There's a lot of games that missed out because they didn't do this. But this is great. I, <laughs> I love this. Um, feelings mutual. Let's not get too sentimental. You must be wondering what I've been up to doing this past... Feelings mutual. I I'll say no that. Doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Must be wondering what I've been up to. Must I? I am too. You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. <laughs> You're polite to ask. I must reek from brimstone. Wait. You're polite to ask. I must reek of brimstone. Been carving my way through a vernus with Carlac. <laughs> Keeping busy with Carlac and Avernus, not exactly restful, but at least I have good company. Um, let's just say your plight to ask. We've been carving our way through hell like it's doom eternal, but that's your life. I'm I glad didn't you say two that. have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but 
At least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort. It's just I'm I'm trying to not think about how sad it is that this is over. Be happy that it happened, not sad that it's over. There you go. Don't worry, we'll be in touch. Getting a group of friends to regularly agree time to time in a place that I can prove challenging. Don't worry, we'll keep in touch. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. I like the conversation they had. That 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 was the mo I th that, that was Light on my feet. That felt like a, a very mature friendship right there. Like that that was cool. I like how this is the first camp that we had. I want to talk to Carlac actually. Oh shit. Oh my god. He wasn't kidding. Where is him that bastard? You brought us back. <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> Commander Zula? Oh man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts! She's already lighting on fire Rest again. Up, soldier. My tin can will be alright for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? Looking forward for that, but a bit of. Oh. Now that we can breathe a little bit, how about a hug? Um, I'm going with option one, and I don't want to hear anyone say anything else about it. Here, here. Enjoy it, soldier. You've earned it. Um, now that we can breathe a little. Okay, never mind. I thought. I thought. Okay, I don't even. I didn't. You didn't hear me say anything. How about a hug? Finally, after you don't forever. Need to ask, soldier. She has blue eyes. I'm just now noticing that. This is the most awkward hug I've ever seen in my entire life. They're not even embracing each other. How did I never notice Carlac had blue eyes? You're sure your engine will be alright though? Night in her, I think. Any trouble and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. I think it would be fine, because hey, she was able to last so long go, before. I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. Wait a minute. acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, Wait but a minute. Maybe. We might get to come home. Permanently. I Maybe think it's going to skip another year after this party too and we're just going to we're going to get more. It has to. It's going to skip ahead and that's going to be the thing or it might have its own quest. Well, look who it is. So, how are you enjoying the hells, my dear? I assume that darling is ever. Wonderful. You should come visit. You'd fit right in. <laughs> it's been tough as darling as living in a nightmare can be. Despite myself, I did miss you. I'm going to say wonderful. You should come visit. I think you'd have fun there, honestly. <laughs> Especially as a vampire I lord, just curb stomping them all. But no. I am living a life better than most can dream of. I'm not trading these silks for, um, <laughs> scorched rags. <laughs> so what have you been doing since we last saw you? Um, you've been enjoying your new life? I should go and talk to the others. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's see, I, w I wonder what he's been up to it now that it, he's, could be evil. Maybe he's been doing something good for once? I don't think so. Let's see what trouble he's been up to. The Cazador's mansion has become my palace, and played host to every kind of banquet and soiree and masquerade imaginable. And of course, has seen its fair share of hedonism, clandestine deals, and the occasional disappearance. Whatever it takes to build up my influence over those who matter. I'm spinning my web. Power grows slowly, but I have nothing but time now. Um, that sounds like something Cazador would say. 
What's your end game, ruler of Baldur's Gate? Oh, I wouldn't say ruler. Any old fool can sit on the throne. I would be more of a puppet master. Oh, the Illuminati. Okay, that makes perfect sun, sense for you. It's still much more fun to pull the strings of power from the shadows. <laughs> Not that everyone's on board, of course. Our friend Will is a stubbornly capable Grand Duke. It's been difficult to get much past him. Although, I will keep trying. But the important thing is I am doing well. I do like this Dracula Finally outfit. They have, like, some really nice outfits. That's worth the Avernus living. outfits are the ugly ones. <laughs> and who knows what's next. I think they're cooler. There's an entire world out there. Ready. For the taking. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Perhaps the next time... Why do you always get options just to straight up kill? <laughs> grander conquests to toast. I did miss you, you know. There is a sense of loneliness that comes with power. We did share a wonderful adventure, you and I. A pity to see it end in some ways. But we have great new lives stretching out before us. And great new adventures to go on. I will never forget the time we spent together, though. And I know you'll never forget me. Until next time. Darling. I think if you would have sided with him the whole game, he would have made you a vampire. Oh, to her. My friend, the Hellswalker. For two months, I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. But She's happy. Your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal inquisitor's head. Limbo, she'd said. A plane of chaos where you might drink fire like water. Where you might breathe ice instead of air. And the home of the mystical Githserai. Once the Githserai were one of the Githyanki. Until bloody civil war severed them. You're looking a bit less solid than I expected. It's good to see you. Uh, your efforts to topple Valakith are well underway then? I figured out the Lich Queen would be dead by now. What's the holdup? You've been to Limbo? Doesn't that mean you're an ally with the... Gith Zeroil? I wanna ask that. I do. I approach the gates of Shraktalor even now. Shraktalor. How well you know the name. The capital city of the Gith Zerai. And the home of their immortal god king, Zerith Menyar Agith. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara Gith through the cosmos. We're rebelling against them. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Hold on, the Great War, Lazelle on a di diplomatic mission? The best choice for the job, your tongue is as... Okay, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. Yeah, I guess the enemy of my enemy is a friend, if you say. You say so. Sometimes, but I don't need the Githzerai to fight for us. Just with us. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. He is also a near deity. Should the Githzerai join us, we could topple the city of death in a red dragon's blink. Should they refuse, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am the comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. A shame you couldn't be with us in person. It's like talking to a ghost. Um, when will I see you again? Soon. When the comet has risen. When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point. I missed you. 
I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. God among men. <laughs> I hoped I'd see you here. Of course. I imagine this must be quite a shock. Whatever you're feeling, do not be afraid. Still me, just an improved version. I was beginning to think you had forgotten about me and your promise. So you did it, okay. I thought you were dead, haven't heard from you in months. Your present, it sets on teeth on edge. Is this the power of Carsus at work? Your present. It said, okay, uh, I was beginning to think you've forgotten about me and your promise. You know what? I kind of want to save game right here. Forget you? Never. Hey, I'm afraid time why are you trashing my room, Carjo? I didn't realize how long I've been gone until I received Wither's summons. I imagine you're wondering how all this came to be. The finer points of Divine Ascension are beyond mortal comprehension, I'm afraid, but... I can provide a rudimentary sequence of events. First, I retrieved the crown of Carsus. Why are you Reforged it using a series of precise and highly complex Netherese incantations. Then, I used it. As you know, the orb within me was the half form of Carsite Weaver, magic left incomplete by Carsus's self destruction. I finished it. Using the crown of Carsus, I turned it into a new form of magic, fused with my being, driven by my purpose. And then I put it to work. Get her. Get As expected, Mistra was unwilling to hand over the reins of the weave, so... I've claimed dominion over another area which I've... passing familiarity. Ambition. Wait. That's for terrific to me. You should be the god of wasted valuable loot. <laughs> Where's the crown of crosses now? Uh, so you gave up on dethroning Mistra? Doesn't that doesn't sound too ambitious to me? Okay, what does the god of ambition offer to his followers? I offer them nothing. I inspire them to seize their destinies for themselves. Great as the heights I've reached thus far may be, I've not forgotten my humble origins. In fact, they're central to my doctrine. Those drawn to the Galarian Creed don't merely seek my guidance as the impressive, all-powerful being I've become. Ambition is about beginnings. It's not just about the heights, but the lows that preceded them. I was nothing. A drifting dust mote of a wizard, abandoned by my goddess, my powers lost, my reputation destroyed. And look at me now. I'm their proof. Proof their hopes are not barren wastes, but the loamy soil in which their future achievements will flourish. Proof that with ambition, anything is possible. You're not so different to any other god, letting mortals do all the work. Interesting, so do you help mortals help themselves <laughs> what what of those evil ambitions do you encourage them to your ambition didn't earn you these powers i did you didn't share this garethian magic with your followers wait and do you share this grand magic with your followers yeah i'm curious about that Ao would prefer to let the cosmic dust settle from my unexpected ascension before considering my right to grant my followers such power. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Around in a millennium or so, and by then my creed will be something to reckon with. There are already several shrines in my honor scattered across the outer reaches of Thay, and rumors of a very prominent temple under construction in Arm. This is only the beginning. For both of us, I'm, all, I'm ready to go with you. Oh. Here's where I need to save the game. <laughs> Here's where I need to save the game. I, I'm waiting to get denied, though.
I see you won't be claiming the domain of patience in the heavens. All in good time, my love. For now, mortality has one more night of enjoyment in store. What the heck is that? Oh, that's something strange. The prism. I'm happy I did that. What is it? Scratch, come here. What you got there, Scratch? I'm so glad Withered's remembered to invite my favorite companion. <laughs> the material plane. <laughs> I've almost forgotten what it's like. Oh, it's his cat. Well, there it's Gil's cat. Gil and all his glory. I hope you're happy, the god of ambition. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? I agree, Tara. He's not who he used to be. Not in the least. And who led him straight to such ridiculous notions, hmm? Who left that crown in the river where any foolish wizard could swim down and pick it up? You were looking out for him. I expected better of you. Oh, I don't know. I think there's something very appealing about the idea of... Um... I can't deny. Part of me wishes I stopped him. Okay, I'll say that. As do I. As do I. I know there's nothing you could have done to stop him. Not really. Once he decided to learn nothing from his mistakes, what use were either of our protests? Perhaps you'd be willing to come meet Gail's mother sometime? She misses him so. And I know it would do her heart a world of good to discuss her son with someone who knew him as he was. I'd love to. Why she'll not? She'll be good. I'll tell Mrs. Dakarios to be expecting you. Oh, she'll be delighted. Things just haven't been the same without himself cluttering up the place. Enjoy your party, dear. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? I'm just glad to break from the hells. It's a, it's the little things. I feel satisfied. I did my duty. Um, can't help but feel things that are left undone. If thou could only see the paths of fate untaken, Thy mind would surely break. Be glad of thy chosen path. It is, after all, thine. Enjoy the revelry of the day. That's what Not I'm doing, right? Okay, okay. I didn't. Need, I needed need a lecture. Okay. <laughs> I suppose I'll return to the party. I think I've caught up with everyone. What comes next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. Oh, is there something next? The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, Love, and above all, problems worth solving. To the brains without worms and a good night's sleep. <laughs> to the hope of more adventures to come, to Baldur's Gate, to the greatest friends I could dream of. I'll just say to Baldur's Gate. Sorry. There's only like one or two of you that are that cool to me anyway. To you. At least on this playthrough.
So, it's time for me to return to the heavens. The question is, do you wish to go with me? To become a god at my side. Oh my goodness. Let me save the game right here because this isn't the choice I want, but I do want to look at it at one point. That is for you to decide, my love. Ambition made me what I am. What drives you, we have yet to discover. Your domain will come to you as you settle into divinity. I can't wait to see what you'll become. I'm sorry, Gail, I'm not coming. You I ain't doing it yet. That's... Sorry. Disappointing. And this is goodbye, I suppose. I can't leave Carlac yet. She's not fixed up yet. You may not wish to enter the heavens, but you do a fine job conjuring them here. Okay, didn't he be sad? Just go away for now. We didn't need the feet shot. We didn't need the feet shot. I'm sorry. To think we could have all became mind flares. Oh, it's in. All's well that that ends wells. The heroes of. Oh my goodness! You can't just throw the end screen at me like that. So what happens now? There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flares. Did think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, <laughs> everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. So, what's Mr. Withers' thing? What's up with him? More loading screens. I'm still confused. I'm still waiting to see what happens. <laughs> If there is more to be happened. And just like that, the main menu hits? And now all we get is the reunion camp? Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This game was so much. This game was so much. The question is, do you wish to go with me? To become a god at my side. Okay. Let's go with him. Let's see what happens. But this, this game is so much. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to play it on my own. At one point, I'm gonna do a playthrough on my own of this game at some point, but I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I probably won't do it for like a year or something. 
But this was a great game. Close your eyes. There's just so many different choices you could make for one person to do. I know you can quickly you do feel? them with reloads, but to do them on different playthroughs is just crazy to me. I see why this game deserves Game of the Year, though. It has a lot. And that's just the beginning. Whoa. I have so much more to show you. Do you get to choose, like, a name? Another one of these awkward hugs where they're, like, five inches away from each other. This gave me a really weird vibe of a PS2 game I played, but it was so peaceful. I remember, since I played PS2 games when I was little, I remember them a lot like I was actually there. I don't remember looking at a TV, I remember being there, you know what I mean? And that's the ending if you do that. There's a bunch of different endings, so... Well, that was the end of Boulder's Gate. This was a huge journey. For those that stayed... For either, either just this episode, or all the other ones... Thanks for coming on this journey with me. I know it's been a little bit weird because I went through a lot of different things. I'm still learning right now. I'm, this is basically... I've only been making videos for like three months now. I know I, ha I know I have videos on my channel that are like eight years old. My channel's been up since 2015 or whatever. But I really haven't m made it my goal or I didn't really make... I just did live streams, you know what I mean, on the side. And, it, like, three months ago, I decided to do, to try pushing this and making content on here. So I just thank you for the journey. Thanks for coming along with me. There's still a lot more to do. Other games to play. Maybe even this one again. But I guess we gotta call it quits at some point. Everything has its end. And hopefully I get to keep doing this. So I enjoy this. And, um... It was pretty good. There is other things I could do on this game. Other things I could play. Oh, no! No, why'd you load? But anyways... That was Boulder's Gate. There's other choices I could make. I'm definitely gonna load... Back a little bit. I really feel like I just need to play the game again. Only the beginning. I just... It's just that I wish I could go back and like go back through the maps. Like, the, maybe they did, like, a different version of all of them, so I could still keep this character. So I'm invested in this set of characters in the journey we came so far in, but... You know. I guess that's just how things be. Um, there is choices here we can make. You know what I mean? Different stories, um... There is just so much to this game. This was, this was a beautifully made game. We could submit to the brain and see what happens here. We can go all the way back before I did anything today. And be there. I can load. All the way up to the first campsite night we had. Day one checkpoint when we met Gale right here. And then the turning point into the Shadowlands. Um, going down and freeing that person. The team up with this guy, ugly mind flirts, curious cat dies, vamp damp, you know what I mean? All these things, like I could go back to all these stones, a crossroads, okay, I'm happy I made saves throughout this game, because I could go back and do anything I want with these saves. But yeah, that was the journey, all of these saves. So we went from an hour played into this game to... And I did change the difficulty later down the route, but to 53 hours. <laughs> 50 <laughs> oh my goodness, 53 hours into this game? Yo. Alright, I guess it's time to finally quit this game. We might be doing Days Gone again. I really love that story. I love the love story to it. I, like, that, that was one of the things in this game. The, the love story to this game, it makes me want to cry. 
All right. I, I love it way too much. All right. The love story in Days Gone has got to be one of the best ones I've ever, ever seen. I just, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe it was just relatable to me. I think it was just super relatable to me, this game. And especially because it's set in Oregon and I live in Oregon. So as just like a bunch of things lined up, everyone sounds and talks the similar. And it's just, I absolutely love this game. And I only ever played it once and I only did just the story. But um, we could play that again. And I did get the Metro. I love the Metro, too. That one has a beautiful love story, too. But Days Gone is my favorite love story. And then the Metro is probably my second favorite love story. And then um, for in a, in a game, I know that's kind of weird what I'm saying. but Because that's not what the games are about. But it's still a really good game. Oh, my goodness. Days Gone is so good. And the Metro is good, too. Is there any other ones that I really liked that had a good love story to it? I feel like Ratchet & Clank kind of has tensions like that. But it doesn't. it's not a love story by any means. It wants to be. It's a friendship story. I have all my games in front of me. Is there any other games that made me think that or feel that? I know there is somewhere. But, um... I know there's some movies that are good like that. Um... I really did like Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well. I really... I, when I think of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I only think about the times where you're playing as Odin... Like, in that area, I love... They should have just made a game just based off of that without all the other stuff of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, to be honest, because I, I, I really enjoyed that area. I do, I do like the whole game, though. A lot of people hated that, for, and it's kind of funny because it's my favorite one of the Assassin's Creed's. But Boulder's Gate was great. Um, yeah, this is still downloading. Let's go to... Uh, I don't want to click on my profile. You guys don't need to see that. Um... I don't care what games you guys see that I have here, but my profile is just to make people mad, and it works. It makes people mad on CSGO because they click on my profile, and then after I've been trolling, they see that, and they're just like, okay. And then once they see it, then I start, like, saying certain things that relate to it, just to know I'm a little more. Okay. What I wanted to see, I know this is draining on, but this is, like, my last video that's going to be with a Boulder Skate title. So I kind of want to see everything. 88 hours played in the game. It's uploading that data. How mu how big is this game? Man, this game was too great. This game was too great. This is actually a really good game. I don't know if it's going to go down as one of my favorites because I, I have a certain thing with what I do when, for games that are my favorites. But I absolutely love this game. And I, I haven't played a top-down view game in, like, years. Like, since I'm, like, 23 right now. And the last time I played a top-down view game, I was, like, three. So, like, 18 years ago, I would at least... I would estimate it down a little... I know 18 isn't three. I'd make me six or something. It would make me a little older. But that was, like, the last time I played a top-down view game. So, to play this again, this game, it's awesome. It definitely should be Game of the Year, I think. Now that I'm thinking of it. Because I always... I've seen everyone voting for it as Game of the Year. And I'm just like, it's Boulder's Gate. I know it's good, but... Does it really deserve it? Now, after beating it, I think it does. I don't even know what the other games are. But Boulder's Gate definitely, I feel like, deserves it. It has, it has so much in it. And for it to never be buggy the whole playthrough... I know I ran into a few little things, but, like, it was pretty seamless. And my laptop ran it really well on max graphics. Give or take a few times I turned it down, but I usually just put it back onto max. One minute played recently. Four hours played recently. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, Our next game will be we're going to be... I'm going to be trying to play is Continuing Void Train. Anyways, okay. I got to go now. It's been great. This game was fun. If you haven't played it, I recommend giving it a try. It is a lot of work in this game though, so like... If you don't want to have a really long, in-depth game and you just want to play, like, you know, Call of Duty because you're simple like that or, like, even <laughs> as simple as those people who play sports games. Goodness. I don't even know who plays those. Anyway, enough of me dragging on that, but this game right here, you will enjoy. All right. It can be. It is a little bit difficult, though, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe just watching is all you need. I know there's certain games for me that just watching it is good enough. And that's definitely with the Subnautic series. I do love that game. I did like to play it, but I think it's more enjoyable to watch for me personally. <sighs> I guess I don't want to go yet. I don't want to go.
I don't want it to be over. But everything comes to an end, so I have to go. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is now 4.38 a.m. I've almost played for four hours straight, but the battles were a lot. Anyways, I guess I'll be going now.